Alright, what is up, you beautiful people, and welcome back to the Elite Mercenaries Brawls. I have to put down some meters really quickly because I tabbed in a little bit too late, so don't... Okay, there we go. Alright, anyways. Okay, so, 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 we're back. So, uh... <laughs> I just do the thing where, like, I just tab out uh, between, like, games, and then I'm just like, oh, you know, it's just gonna take some time to load, but sometimes people have fast computers, and other people have slow computers. And I guess in this case, people have fast computers. So, Raw Map Prize this week, you can see right here, we got the two mercenary compounds. One of them gives you Terran ones, one of them gives you uh, Hybrid, and, uh, oh, it's a Swan. I think Borzuri does pretty well against Swan, but I'm just gonna do the classic Stalker Stacker. Uh, because you know me, like I try something on that's nice, and I'm like, I'm gonna do this forever. Uh, and then the last modifier here we have is Bountiful, so you want to be auto gassing this week because Bountiful makes it so your refineries give you lots of gold. Um, uh, I mean, minerals, I don't know, gold, minerals, same idea. Uh, and I'm playing with Valkyrie over here. Uh, and oh, that's that's a that's a that's a I didn't know you could choose a constantly mutating Zerg hive as one of your uh structures here. And we got a Carax on our team. Okay. It's not too bad here. I should probably place down my cannons. So Carax probably wants to have a shield battery here and his um, thing here. But I want to try and have my cannon within range of my sh of his shield battery. Which I guess is impossible. Okay, I'm going to try and get the gas first. And then I'm going to get power levels for my hybrids over here. There we go. Upgrade complete. Uh, I need the phase reactor here. The gas over here. Phase reactor will allow my guy to blink backwards, regenerate the shields. There we go. And everything is fine. Okay, now I'm gonna get the power level upgrade over here. I only need three stalkers here. So, uh, one of the cool things about Borazun is if you go to tier three, you can get dark pawns and you can stealth things, right? You can stealth siege breakers this week. Um, and honestly, I think it's fine if they kept it like that. Stealth siege breakers, I feel like that'd be great. You can also stealth Hell's Angels um, for some for whatever odd reason where you need anti-armor, air, anti-capital ship air units that aren't your Void Rays, because Void Rays, let's be honest, don't do enough damage. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to doing that. That being said, I have to uh, actually be that tier of uh, research, but it should, it, it, it should be fast here. I don't actually... Oh yeah, I'm against Swan. Yeah, I'm just I'm sorry guys, just, I'm just... <laughs> I was like, I don't actually remember who I'm up against, you know, it's just big, um, that's what happens when you're just talking a lot. You can perm stealth your mercy, by the way. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Sneak, snacky tanks. Sneaky tanks. Let's go. Uh, and yeah. <clears throat> Alright, also, I got some announcements for the I'm a little, little announcements to make here, guys. Uh, so, as you guys all know, I am at 700 subscribers plus now at this point, um, as of Saturday, because uh, I'm filming on Saturday, but today is Sunday when you're watching it. Uh, and because of that, uh, I'm going to pop on my Twitter a poll on when you guys would like to see the stream. Uh, the stream is going to be scheduled for next week. But um, what I do want to do is oh, I'm gonna stop this over here. But what I do want to do is just like get you guys to like just tell me if you guys prefer um, either 9 a.m. to 12 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or if you prefer um, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then I'll pick the option that has the uh, most the people choosing it, I guess. Um, because you know, I like I want you guys to come, you guys can play uh, with a few games with me. You guys can watch. I don't want you guys to miss it if uh, if it can be helped. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, you know, there's there's life things or stuff you gotta do, so there's also that, right? And I totally understand that. Um, but yeah, so I'm just, I'm just trying to see if I can fit as many people as possible. And now we have our first sneaky tank, baby. <laughs> it's super sneaky. They'll never find it, except scanning, I guess. But I just gotta kill their detectors, and then it's over. Um, I can also drop dark pounds on some other stuff too. I honestly love the Dark Palant upgrade for Borazun because it makes her super... Her stealth is actually, like, significant now. I don't think there's any other commander that has that, that much stealth. Um, and, oh yeah, speaking of streams, uh, I am streaming every single thing on Twitch right now for, like, an hour at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 10 p.m. Like, uh, like about an hour at that time. Uh, that's sort of my schedule. Mm, I could go for a little longer, maybe a little shorter. Uh, based on like what's what's up, what's happening that day, I guess. Uh, and yeah, I'll play some games that are kind of direct strike. Sometimes not the direct strike, and just mostly just me hanging out with my friends. So if you guys want to go check it out, um, be sure to swing on by. And honestly, if anything, if you guys don't even want to watch, like 
the one thing I just want you guys to do is follow because I want that I want that fat juicy twitch affiliate I ain't gonna lie here man's trying to get it uh, <laughs> honestly because like the thing is like if you follow me you don't have to watch me right um, at the end of the day and I totally get that right like because I, I, I play direct strike here you guys follow me on YouTube for direct strike uh, and then my stream is not direct strike and you're just like what the hell I, I ain't coming to watch that I get that you know I no hard feelings you know um, but uh, you know you're probably just like, oh my god, would you stop, stop, just, just shut up, shut it. <laughs> Break it down. And I'll give him my best shot, let's go. Uh, I think some ground armor weapons upgrades here. Let's see, I could probably use some DTs against all of these uh, marines here. Uh, but my my stealth tanks are honestly just, they're just, mm, I, I, I like, I like What's the idea of stealth tanks here. Uh... And I think I can probably get some Corsairs as well to bully that Science Vessel. Uh, and I can probably stealth them, because if my tanks are- oh no, he scanned it, he scanned it, okay. Aww, uh, he scanned it, where's the fun in that? Oh, I mean, if, it's, if I'm forcing my opponents to scan every wave though, that's pretty good, because it'll soon bleed them out of minerals. Um, which is great. And uh, I should just use all the bountiful cash I have to uh, spam out lots and lots of stalkers. Uh, but I should probably leave some space for tanks, so I'll probably leave like two lines, maybe, for tanks. Um, my Karax ally here going for the Immortals. We have a Karax, actually. We could try an 8-minute rush. Because, like, with Bountiful, 8-minute rush would be even fatter. Uh, I mean, I guess. I guess. Uh, let's see. The Stukov wave is starting to, is starting to drop off here. Um, like, very heavily here. Boom, 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 boom. Like, yeah, like, Swan is forced to scan every single wave. Oh my god, Tychus just pushed my tank. I didn't even know that was an interaction. All right, well, I, I have stealthed tanks here, so that's going to be hilariously annoying. That just makes War Zoom, like, just so much better uh, than I originally believed her to be. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 there's no more detection. Oh my god, it's just forcing our opponents to scan over and over again. I love it. Okay, so this is going to be my tank row. So I'm gonna... There we go. There we go. Pop down in our tank here. Oh no, that's not the... I didn't know you could do that. No worries. Yeah, you yeah, didn't see nothing. You guys didn't see anything. You guys didn't see anything. You guys didn't see anything. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It comes off cooldown. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I should probably get a detector, though. <laughs> I should probably get a detector, though. Oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Alright, anyways, I'm gonna get one I'm gonna get one of these guys here and then I'm gonna get my pulsar beam and I'm gonna make sure my mic is on because uh, I actually touched the wire and you guys already know you guys already know what that is. Wire champ here. I'm gonna put the Corsair down here. Can I get a second one? Get a second one? one more, one more, one more, one more. And we got two Corsairs out here. Get the stealth drive, because that's honestly really all I want. I'm gonna be able to see those banshees. And then uh yeah. Let's see. Oh man, the flame lance here. Actual flaming lance. It's gonna be very good here. Uh, stalkers coming in. Bully those science vessels. Come on. Knock them out, Corsairs. Yeah, bully them science vessels. Uh, where is my oracle? My oracle is no longer perceiving. Feels bad. Oracle no longer perceiving. Yeah, there's a bunch of banshees here. Uh, okay, so our opponents have gotten a bunch of hybrid. Uh, there we go. I should probably step down some hybrid. Actually, I might want to hold off for like a ten hybrid put. Can I stealth my hybrid? I feel like I feel like What's they up? wouldn't let us do that. Like I feel like that'd be too good. So I, I mm. so I get like around one siege tank every minute. So probably I could spam these dark pylons. Maybe I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this, and then I'm gonna buy disruption web, and then I can buy some shadow guard maybe, maybe shadow guard are quite good. 
they're quite thick as Dark Templar. Uh, there we go, Stasis Web here coming out. Stasis Web is a very hard counter to Swan. Uh, simply because his units, his, his the bulk of his army are tanks. Uh, Alright boys, just come on. Uh, Oracle's going down here. But I have some stealth of tanks here. Oh, and Vega's dead. Vega's dead, which means there's no detection left. Okay, so there's C. I pressed X. Ah, C. Cause I think it's, uh, mm, whatever. Um, let's see. Alright, I probably need maybe like another Oracle, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, right, but I also want to spam hybrid. Like, I've always been buying a small hybrid. But I think I should buy some of the big hybrid. Uh, Although I'm gonna have to leave space for it. I'll have to like restructure my front line a bit. Um, Cause they're... How big are these guys? Oh yeah, they're just too bad. So I just gotta like maybe restructure these guys and move them back. What's maybe up? that's about it. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, let's see how my two Corsairs perform here. I don't want to have too many Corsairs because my Corsairs at the end of the day are not really out here. Oh never mind. I, I probably shouldn't scan. I don't know. Actually, no, my, my, my Oracle died, so scanning was fine. Yeah, scanning was fine. Um, my stealth of tanks here are just gonna go to town. Oh my god. It's actually, it feels, it feels like illegal. It just feels... <laughs> it just feels like, wait, that's illegal. <laughs> uh, there we go. I'm gonna put more of these. I'm gonna fill up my stalker line really fast because of the Bountiful, and I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. Probably just buy a bunch of Corsairs. Uh, boom. Like I'm gonna increase my armor on my ground units. Armor and shields, probably. A bit of both. Uh, armor here. Siege Breakers don't benefit from any of these upgrades. Oh, it feels bad. Okay, I have a black hole here. I'm gonna black hole the next wave that comes out. Which is probably Tychus' wave. <clears throat> uh, the black hole radius is quite nice. There we go, there we go, there we go. Black hole, black hole. Come on, boys. Corsairs have a little bit of splash damage. Come on. Make it happen, make it happen. Oh, Nux dropping a fat wave here. Oh, T1 reach. Oh, no. Thor's shooting Corsairs. Oh, man. The stealth tanks here just taking it here. Beam on the Nexus. <laughs> I wish that Beam did damage to the Nexus. That would actually make Karax OP. <laughs> Oh, here, let's have a look at the overview here. Um, oh my god, Karax did 52k. You know why he did 52k? Because of the Stukov. Stukov? I don't know why he waited so long to get an APOC. Like, an APOC's 1k, right? Like, he could have gotten that quite early. Like, that's 1k is like 1, 2, 3. Like, like the, these 9 stalkers here would have been that 1 APOC. I don't know what he did that... He bought too many boys. Like you don't, you never want to buy boys against uh, Karax because Karax can just vaporize him. Uh, and that's like the one time Karax actually does well. Uh, I think Stukov should just get got an air fleet and tried to fight his mirages. And yeah, uh, this game was kind of short, so I'm gonna go for a second round. And you already know that that second game is gonna end up being like five hours or something. Oh no, Shark Bite's gone. <gasps> oh, whatever, it's fine. We'll, we'll go. We'll still go for another round. Um. Uh, GG's. Alright, let's go. Alright, and we are back. And you know what? <clears throat> On the loading screen, I was just thinking, and I was like, you know what's a build I don't do a lot of on Vorazun? Just, why don't I just go stealth Vorazun melee Break it down. units? As in Centurions and Dark Templars and Shadow Guards. I feel like it's a stupid idea, but I kind of want to try it with stealth shock divisions. Or, or stealth siege breakers. I don't know. Uh, let's have a look at what we're up against, though. Because like, if we're up against an opponent who has um, a lot of small units, then, I mean, Sell me. that's a great idea. It's a Dahaka. Talk to me. Ooh, it could be good. But Dahaka can just get igniters and counter me. Um, but the Dark Templar are very powerful against Dahaka, though, so I feel like it's not too bad. Not too bad, especially if everything's stealth. Like I can just hide from him, you know. Um, let's see. And then there's an Avatar. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need some sort of uh, small unit AOE. I don't know. I, I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do it, just for the memes. Um, 
I know it's not the best thing out there, you know, but but the memes, memes not dreams. Oh, that guy didn't make it out. Okay, well if he didn't make it out, then uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna summon him. Just gonna go for another simulator here. Go for the shadow charge. Ooh, I'm gonna get the dark coil so they get extra shields here. Uh oh. Dark coil. Dark coil. Actually, what do they do when they use dark coil? What is this? Stuns nearby enemies for wait for two seconds. Wait, that's actually insane. Um. Okay. And then I can get the power level up here. I'm totally not expecting cloak siege tanks. <laughs> Totally not expecting cloak siege tanks. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know what you were talking about. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put down one Dark Templar here. I don't know if uh, the Hawk has already gotten his stealth though. Okay, I need Shadow Fury for sure. Oh my god. Is, there Al Is this guy AFK? What is he doing? Oh no, we're gonna lose our we're gonna lose our cannon here. You can't just no, you can't you can't just do that, man. Alright, whatever, it's fine. Oh Manx, because Manx Oh, it's Gandhi! It's it's Gandhi who's on Manx, you know what? Of course. I think this is I think this is Ultimate Gandhi here. Uh Ultimate Gandhi is a is, is a big Manx fan. Uh, always asking me, yo, where's the Manx videos? And I'm like, um What's up? They're, they're, they're coming. Soon TM. But yeah. Uh, I also need to play a Chicken Nugget Alarak game. Um, because I think somebody told me in the Discord that um, I should I should just go Chicken Nugget Alarak. Just, just, raw, just raw dog Chicken Nugget. And uh, I'm kind of interested in that build actually. Because I've actually never I'm actually never done a build like that. So yeah. Okay. So may I have, I have the DT at the front. And then I have... These guys, the Centurions in the back, so the DTs go in, they blink in, slice up all of Manx's Zerglings here, which is clean, and then... Oh, this guy's also Vorzu. Ah, okay, well, I need, to, I need to go Tier 3 before I can get um, stealth on my guys here. Let's see. Because he has, he has Marauders, right? Marauders are quite good against tanks, but um, not that great against DTs, I wouldn't say. Uh, okay, so... Do I want the gas or do I want the stealth tanks? I'm gonna- I want the gas, I'm still gonna buy the tank, but not have it stealthed yet. Maybe I'll have the tank in the corner here. Like, right here. Uh, Cause right now I'm like getting put- we're getting pushed in by Gandhi here quite nicely. Um, void Rays are the wrong answer to Mutalisk, but, um, I guess. Uh, no, no, this guy's Stukov! Wait, 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 he's Stukov. Oh no, the lings are just gonna charge forward here. Um, let me see if I can pull my cannon back here in time. Pull my cannon back here in time. There we go. There we go. DTs are just a clean house, clean house over here. And uh, oh, he has some hybrid. Oh, he's he's building. He's building Mutalisk. Let's see. I'm just gonna teleport behind him. And uh, let's see. I don't actually know if I can beat those Primal Mutalisk here. Oh my god, the tank. Tank AI, please. Can I beat Primal Mutalisk? Because I feel like they're too... I feel like they're too tanky. I don't think I can cut through them. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to use a black hole here, I think. Um... Uh, I strike from the shadows. Here we go. Boom. Another one of these guys down. Centurion's down here. I feel like we need to... Uh, no, I think we should be fine here, actually. We should be fine. We can hold. Yeah, the DTs will make short work of the Zerglings here. Yeah, all the Zerglings are dead. Uh, get my DTs to just chop everything here into mincemeat here. Unfortunately, the DTs won't be able to hit these guys up here, which kind of sucks. Uh, and Oh my god, is that DT getting slow? Oh no, it's intimidating roar. I was like, what the heck is slowing him? Uh, okay, well I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a stealth on my tank here. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna stealth on my tank here. I really need to consider some sort of anti-air though. 
Uh, so maybe that'll have to be Corsairs. I think that'll have to be Corsairs. That uh, will give me that anti here, 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 here. I think I need to commit to a few more Corsairs here. Um, yes, a few more Corsairs would be an understatement, actually. Because uh, these these hybrid are still here from like last wave. That is that is that is bad. That is a bad disruption web over here. Maybe if I buy disruption web, it'll help. Oh, okay, 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 okay. The boys are just running forward here. Oh, they're getting chopped up here. There we go. All right, all right. The Kaka still has. Oh, he has igniter. He has a igniter. Igniters have way too much health for my DTs to handle. But, uh... Oh, stealth tank? Oh no, the hack is a detector. Is he a detector? I, yeah, he has detector. He has keen senses. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, the Haka at least has that nice recourse um, to this build because he's super thick. Uh, okay. Kind of want to put down some Shadow Guard. Maybe here. And here. Just kind of off to the side. Shadow Guard do like 185 damage. So they should do quite like a lot better against the Igniters. Still not that great because they're still light units. But they have 300 health and then these guys have 200. So I should be fine. Uh, most of the boys are just running forward to their deaths here. Although... What the hell is killing me here? Uh, not much. Okay. Oh, there's a there's an Emperor's Shadow here, I think. She's just stealthed here. Oh my god, the Emperor's Shadow survived. Ooh. I mean, I still have a stealth tank over here. Oh, okay. Gandhi with the Emperor's Shadow. I mean, Emperor's Shadows are uh, quite a good call. Uh, can, I, can I see what's going on? Okay, there we go. Uh, build another one of these. Build another one of these. There we go. I could have sworn I was able to build five of these guys before. Maybe they were too strong. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Stealth, stealth tanks. Okay. Break it down. Another Centurion over here. This is a very interesting Vorzun build that I have never done before that I'm actually just super curious about. Uh, <laughs> it, it doesn't mean it's good. I just, I just want to know. You know? Sometimes you just want to know for curiosity's sake. Rocket Boys here. Okay. I think. Oh, okay. There's a there's a shadow guard right there. I definitely need. Maybe I can get stealth Hell's Angels, and then have them fly into, like the stealth Hell's Angels can just sort of cool it. Or I don't know. I think I, I think I, no 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 no. no. I should probably just keep stealth tanks. But um, I can probably get some void rays. I know that sounds like a really bad idea, but um, I feel like Void Rays Stealthed wouldn't be too bad. Because um, I, if I have them back here, they'll be able to just do some sneaky stuff. There we go, get some of that going. And uh, I can probably just upgrade my air damage, because I don't really need my ground units to do too much damage at the end of the day. Um, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of... Um, Emperor Shadows here coming forward. Oh, but it, that Emperor Shadow just got completely slaughtered uh, by my DTs here. Uh, I'm gonna get, like, get everything together here. My DTs here just slicing, slicing and dicing. These are actually not too bad against the Haka himself either. So uh, we got that going for us. Ooh, stealth tanks here. Stealth Void Rays. Do I have any stealth Void Rays here? Oh yeah, they're still they're still pulling it over here. Uh, I'm gonna get in the simulator here. Uh, put in some. Uh, this game looks like it's gonna be like one of those long slogs. Although those are fun to play. Uh, I've got a gas over here, so I'm just gonna gas up because because I want as much money as possible here. We're gonna burn through those queens here. My Vorzun ally here just has stealthed void race. Yeah, he's going pure air. And I'm going pure ground, so I guess that complements it kind of, kind of. All the Vorzuns like powerhouse stuff is really in. I would say the stalkers and then like air units. So yeah. Sounds like a plan. Okay, I'm gonna get this guy over here. I think at the end of the day, like my build doesn't really scale too well. So there's also that. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, oh my god. The primal mutals just tear apart my units here. 
like they're nothing. Oh man. And uh, let's see. Maybe I could get some oracles um, to deal with this a bit better, because my my DTs are dying to the impalers quite nicely here. Like they're just they're just chopping us up. It is destined. Sounds like a plan. And the thing is, or oracles don't do too much damage. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Um, I think the tanks that have been going on this side have been surviving. So I'm gonna do that here. What's up? Uh, Oracle. 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 Let's see. Are those are those. Oh, okay. No enemy tanks here. Enemy tanks. Air weapon upgrades. Oh, do I not have stealth on my oracles? Prismatic range here. Oh, maybe their stealth got disabled here. Yeah, the stealth got disabled, I guess. Oh, there's a black hammer. That's bad. Oh, but I have my tanks here hidden. Okay, I need. I need. I think I need to drop my hybrid here. Um, because it looks like we're gonna lose here if we if I don't go for hybrid. Now the question is, can I? I cannot. Okay. So I can't stealth any unit that's basically not permanent. Uh, let's see. More Corsairs. More Corsairs. Boom, boom. Mm, can I do this one as well? Nope. Oh no, it's over. Oh, it's over. I'm not going to get my hybrid out. Oh no. No. I should have put it down the wave before. Ah! Ah! Let's have a look at the overview here. Oh man, mean build, not performing, 40k. Uh, this build actually did a lot of damage. Um, I think, yeah, I think that Air Fleet for Zoom, yeah, with the stealthed, with these guys stealthed, I think it would have been really good. Um, although, they do bonus to armor. I mean, the damage drop off's not too big, it's only like 6, 12 less damage. And because these guys are light, right? But they have so they have three armor, um, and I do twelve damage to light. I mean, I guess it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but they just I don't have a lot of health on corsairs, and those guys are super tanky. This avatar wave is pure DPS, and then Gandhi's wave was just like literally just boys, a uh, handful of um, emperor shadows, and then a bunch of a bunch of these guys. Okay. Oh, that's why it makes sense. It was a Stukov death fleet here. Um, let's have a look at the units here. Did I at least kill? Uh, no, I didn't kill much. <laughs> I didn't kill much. Oh, man. All right, well, I mean, at least I tested the theory here. Um, and uh, the theory is that uh, this build is um, one you should never do. Uh, at least not against uh, an air opponent. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Uh, go to my Twitch and drop a follow. Go check out my Twitter uh, for the poll. I'll see you guys.